Hi, I am Valerio Coretti and today I'll show you a system that is an extension of the system we see in, in the previous tutorial. And indeed, we have four devices based on a Riot OS that send the values to an MQTT SN broker. Then these values are forwarded by a simple bridge to the Google MQTT broker. Finally, we have the same structure of the last time. Indeed, the values are saved in a MongoDB storage and then are displayed in a web dashboard. Okay, let's start to see how I build my devices and essentially I extended the MQT example in the Riot main repository and uh, I added some function, for example, the get time that retrieved the current date and uh, the, the build payload uh, that essentially build the payload for every sensor, like the previous tutorial. We have a device ID, the value and the current date. Finally, the most important function we have to see is the periodic pub that is uh, simply an infinite loop that sends the values to the MQTTSM broker by the MQT module. Now, the main problem in this, in this system is that Google doesn't support the direct co connection to the MQTTSM broker. And for this reason, I merge an MQTT client uh, Google and an MQTTSM client in a, in a single Python bridge. And indeed, we have the parameters uh, to send to Google and we built a Google MQTT client. And finally, when the connection starts, the MQTT SN client uh, listens for messages, and when receive a message, it forward this message to the MQTT topic on Google. So we have already run our MQTT SM broker and uh, the MQTT S and bridge and we have only to subscribe the topic and uh, run the periodic pub command. Obviously in this view we have uh, already set the network configuration. And in uh, the other side, we run uh, the older devices seen in the previous tutorial, and we can see the result in the web uh, dashboard uh, divided according to their platform. 